tutorial how to make a mobile virtual reality game using the Google Cardboard SDK that uses a controller to move a character. Let's get it done quick because it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to build a brand new Unity project and what's a good name for it? Uh, VR, VR FPS and make sure it's 3D. And we got a brand new project opened up. This is going to be super simple because if you go to assets, import package, and go to characters, they got some character prefabs for us here. Uh, to save some time, we don't need the rollerball or the uh, third person character there, but uh, I'm going to import everything else. And these are the Unity standard assets. If you didn't install them when you installed Unity, you can go to the Unity Asset Store and download them there. Now that that's imported, we can go to the first person character and there's a prefab in here for FPS controller. The FPS controller, if I move it to 000, you'll notice it has the camera, of course. So we can delete the main camera that came with the Unity scene. And we have this uh, character. Now I'm also going to create a something like a plane uh, so that we have a, a ground with a glider on it. And if I click play, we should have a basic. FPS controller going. Now there's something funny is going to happen when we go to build settings and we switch this over to Android. So now that I've switched to Android, if I click play, the mouse doesn't uh, turn the camera. I can't jump. WASD doesn't move. Arrow keys don't. Nothing works. And the reason why is because of this cross-platform input. So what you need to do is you need to go to window. You need to go to the button next to the window called mobile input. This got this got put in here when you imported the character the characters from standard assets. So go to mobile and disable it. So now that that's disabled, it's uh, it's not trying to get input from a mobile screen and we're back to our keyboard and mouse input, which is what we want because that's that's how the controller works in VR. Get your uh, Unity package from Google with the cardboard SDK and go ahead and import that. Okay, now if I bring, if I go to cardboard prefabs and I bring cardboard main in, we now have the uh, cardboard camera here, but we also have the FPS controller which has a camera on it. Now if I look under the FPS controller, I'm going to see that it has a camera and an audio listener. But the cardboard main under main camera also has a camera and an audio listener. So this first person character, which is a camera and an audio listener, can just get deleted because both of those components are a part of the cardboard main. Now I'm going to move cardboard main to a child of the FPS controller. And that should replace the cameras with the VR cameras. I can still move my mouse and I can still walk around. So at this point, it's a matter of getting this to work with the controller, which it almost already does, but we should go to uh, project settings input. And something funny is happening here because so the, this FPS controller uses the mouse to turn the camera. Um, if you want to use a button to turn the camera, then you're going to have to map uh, input from this joystick to the mouse, the mouse input. Uh, let me just show you. It's a little bit easier to explain like this. You've got the mouse X and the mouse Y, which gets sent to the FPS controller for this mouse looks script on the X and the Y where there's these two sensitivity values. So because we don't have a mouse uh, with our controller, 
We could duplicate these through project settings input. I'm going to right click on mouse X and duplicate array element. Now there are two mouse X's. And there's two mouse Y's. So on one of these, what I'm going to do is change it from mouse movement to joystick access. And the joystick access on here is X, Y, three, four. And what that is, is the left stick is X access, but on the right stick, it's this third axis for the X value. And on the Y for the joystick, it is the fourth axis. So at this point, I'm going to go to build settings. First, I need to save my scene. Add the scene to the build settings. And I need to go here. And you need to at least change the bundle identifier. And we should set landscape left since we're in VR. And multi thread rendering is fine. And that should be enough for now. I'm going to build and run this to my phone. Okay, so it's installed on my phone. I got my MOGA in B mode. And it's starting up. So, so the left controller moves and the right controller is moving, turning the camera, but very slowly. So if I go to project settings input, I'll notice that the mouse has a sensitivity of 0 0.1. I'm going to increase that to 1. And same thing with the X, 1. Okay. So now everything is, is working. Uh, the left controller moves your character and strafes and the right controller looks around. This is like the standard FPS setup for a controller. Now you're going to have problems when you actually try to make a game with this because <laughs> this doesn't work in virtual reality. So from here you're going to have to figure out the, the best solution for your game. Maybe you're building a, uh, a spaceship game and turning the one the right con the right stick moves uh, moves your looks around or maybe you just look around with your head um, and the left controller moves your ship or and the right controller moves your ship um, maybe you're building a first person shooter and if that's the case you have to determine how you want it to con to uh, work for example um, if you do turn your head with a stick going up and down or with the y-axis just doesn't usually uh, feel very good so you probably want to disable uh, y movement for for the stick as far as moving your head you only want to look up and down with your physical up and down head movements um, strafing doesn't feel very natural so you might not want to have strafing maybe you want to uh, move strafing to the right stick and you want to have the left stick only for moving forward and backward so there's there's a whole different uh, lots of different ways to set this up depending on how what game you want to make and there's something else uh, I should mention and it's easier to demonstrate if I stand up so if um, so basically what I'm basically if you in VR uh, it might help to have it, it really helps actually to have a body and the reason why is because um, is because you'll find if you're not as you're developing when you turn your head in VR if that doesn't turn the direction of your character and then you press forward to go forward on your stick your character will walk in a direction that you're that you don't know because you've turned your head in a different direction so if my character is facing this way and I turn my head to the right and I press forward my character is still going to be walking forward this way 
if, if I don't look down and see my body, I won't know which way I'm orientated. So it gets very confusing. Here's another important thing to think about. When you add the body in, uh, when, you, when I turn my head naturally, I have about 180 degree ro uh, field of view. And if I want to go beyond that, um, what I do is I, is I pick up my legs and I turn my legs. And now if I were to push forward on a controller, for example, I would be going in this direction because I've turned my head past a certain point. So another thing that you may need to build into your FPS game that you've never had to before for consoles or PC is, is the body below you. And if you turn your head more than X amount, then you need to have the character's body automatically turn direction so that if you push forward, now your character is moving forward in that direction. So that you're going to have to figure out and solve for your game. But the basics are here. You, the left and the right stick works. You can move and turn with it just like you would on a regular console. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, you guys. If it, Give a subscribe and a like and uh, share this with some friends so they can start developing VR games with you. So, uh, or maybe on their own. So anyways... Excellent, excellent. I think I've learned something myself. Thanks for helping me out. Cheers.